Now I'm actually really excited to welcome in our next guest. She plays for the New York Liberty. I'm a huge fan. She's a defensive force. She's everywhere in New York City this year. Dee Dee Richards joins the show. Tough loss last night. Uh, appreciate you joining us right now on the Mercedes-Benz Vans phone line. So thank you for taking some time. How are you feeling, Dee Dee? I feel great. I'm super excited to be on the show. Thanks for having me. No, it's been a, it's been a fun, you know, up and down season for the Liberty because just when I'm counting you guys out, you guys come back with big wins and, and Sabrina has a big night and you're getting back in the lineup and getting healthy. So where is the team right now in this roller coaster of a year? Um, right now we're in New York. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Um, we're just... We're just trying to buy in, honestly, buy into the new staff, buy into younger players, and just get you know the experience we need to continue to build on the season that we're having this year, honestly. Honestly, it seems like there's a real camaraderie despite some of the challenges the group has faced this year. Um, talk to me about just the friendships you formed on the team. You, you, there's some continuity with last year's roster. So just talk to me about sort of this, the, the, culture, or, uh, the culture around the women playing on the team this year. Right. I mean – well, I mean, we love each other, and I think it it exudes out of all of us whenever you hear one of us talk about each other and um, the teammates. But honestly, me and Mick are inseparable. I think everybody knows that. But even saying that, it's not it's not like a divide on the team. Honestly, it's just we all kind of love one another. We can all spend time with one another, and I think that's what makes us go. And I think that's what makes us good. The way play the way we play. You had a lot of success in college, uh, especially in the defensive end, defensive player of the year, playing down at Baylor. What, do you, what did you notice from a defensive point of view as the big difference in playing at the collegiate level and then playing the professional level? The biggest difference for me is that every day, every game, you're guarding somebody that can drop 50 like at any given time. And I think that drives me insane because I hate being scored on, but like I had to understand that. <laughs> You're going to get scored on in this league, and you're not going to be able to beat yourself up about it. So um, I'm learning to kind of not accept it, but, you know, move on and try and, you know, get them the next play, basically, instead of just killing myself in the game the way I've been doing. <laughs> I love that you can admit that about yourself. Everybody in the room chuckled when you said you hated getting scored on. Um, it seems obvious that most players would hate being scored on, but it seems like it stings a little deeper for you. Yeah, because my brother, it was honestly growing up with my brother and my dad. They, when they would score on me, they would not let me, like, live it down. Like, I, we come from the court, walk into the house, eating dinner, and they're going to bring it up. I'm like, dang, shut up. <laughs> so now I, that's the reason why I act the way I act. Now, I, uh, I had a chance to see you play the other night. It was a tough loss, an overtime loss uh, at the Barclays. But the Barclays has been a vibe this summer. It's great to see fans back in the stands. Uh, talk to me about what it's like to play in New York, in Brooklyn. You never know who's going to be courtside at those games. Right. It's super special um, to just be out here and, um, with the culture, the love that people have for this city and the state. is kind of insane. It kind of makes you want to play a little harder for them. So I'm super excited to even be out here playing in front of the fans that we have. And like you said, they've been really showing up lately. So we're just hoping to get into the playoffs. Well, I love that because they're showing up because you guys have a real connection to them. I saw a video where you were calling season ticket holders and thanking them for coming to the games and really have a connection with the fans. Uh, talk to me just about being an ambassador for the sport in addition to being an athlete within the sport. I feel like WNBA players are asked to go out there and market the game in addition to going out there and playing it. Um, I think, it, like you said, bring, it makes us connected to our fans. and I, I love it. It's something that... Most sports don't have to do, but we have to do it in order to, you know, put our faces out there and get the W notice. Um, and if we can do, if we have to do that, then we're going to do it. And I think that shows how much we love the game as players. Um, we're willing to do whatever we can to get fans to watch and to show how much we love the sport that we play. Now, yesterday, Didi, we had Jimmy King, one of the Fab Five legends, on the show yesterday. And of course, the Fab Five, University of Michigan. It's why I went to Michigan. They are known for the iconic baggy shorts. Like, I got in so much trouble for rocking Fab Five shorts from my high school coaches. Now there's a movement in basketball the other direction. It's going, like, way up the thigh. Like, what is happening right now? <laughs> Honestly, if you can't feel the air on your legs, then you're, you have a problem. When like, you, you, if you need to run and feel the wind whisking in your legs, the hair blowing, all that. You need the wind to do all that. So, I don't. I love that they love their baggy shorts, but I am so happy 
that time has changed <laughs> and that the shorts have changed with them. Someone tells me the next generation is going to be back down to the floor. Like, that's just the way it goes. Sure. Uh, this is how it happens. That's time. It repeats itself for sure. D.D. Richards joining the show from the New York Liberty. Ben Lyons in for Rich on the Rich Eisen Show. Um, D.D., you have been enjoying New York City. Part of the, 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 the perks of playing for a team in New York is you get invited to cool events. You were at the Tribeca Film Festival. You've been out and about. What are some of the great things you've gotten to experience from living and playing in New York? Um, definitely Fashion Week. That's probably my top, top, Top accomplishments that I've now had, I've been able to do. I've been able to go to. It was like the most fun thing that I've done. Um, I met Jay Z. I think anybody. I think we're gonna throw that out there all the time. And y'all ask what I've done in New York. I met Jay Z, the <laughs> owner of New York. It's your boy. <laughs> and then now, um, like you said, it's just having people courtside that you don't normally see at most games. Like you don't know. You never know who's gonna come up to a game. So I think those are always the best moments of being in New York. I remember there was a weekend, I think it was when you met Jay, and then there was, maybe you, you were with Quavo or something, and Drake took a photo with Lizzie, and it was just all these dudes were taking photos, flexing that they were hanging out with WNBA stars. And it was a really cool moment, I think, for the sport. And, and now we're seeing the game. You saw great ratings for the All-Star Weekend, and, and the sport is really taking off. Um, just talk to me as a fan of women's basketball, being a part of it at the level you are, just someone who grew up watching it, what's it like now to see the WNBA shining? Oh, it's it's humbling, special, all the words you can think of, because, like I said, I, like you said, I grew up watching it as much as I could because it wasn't even on TV as much as we wanted it to be. And now that people are able to access it as easily as they are now, it's kind of special, and it's showing that, like you said, our game's evolving and that people are starting to appreciate the sport a little more. And I'm just hoping that it keeps going in the right direction. We're looking at a photo uh, for our radio audience uh, listening right now of you driving to the hole against Diana Taurasi. You were in the building the other night for Sue Bird's last game in New York. There are so many. Last night, you guys go up against Asia Wilson and, and, and the Aces. There's so many talented legends and icons in the sport. Who were you a fan of growing up as a young girl that made you want to play basketball? Definitely Candace Parker. Um, she was some of the I could watch that I, I could kind of mimic in a way. I'm not as tall as her, but I was a taller person who could handle the ball and didn't really have a position. And when I watched her, she kind of was that. She had a, she played post, but she could bring the ball up. She knew a little bit of everything. And on top of that, you know, she's beautiful. So it was really easy to watch her and to kind of um, – idolize her honestly yeah i'm gonna go see her play live uh thursday night here in los angeles when the sky come to town um you guys uh have the 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 sparks in town for back-to-backs in august um what can we expect from this liberty group as uh you know you head down the stretch for the second half of the season and hope to make a playoff run honestly just that making a playoff run winning some games um trying to get back into the playoff talks honestly because we clearly fell and I don't know. I just hope that people, when people watch this, they see excitement, exciting basketball. And that's what we're hoping to keep bringing them. Well, it's been exciting to see Sabrina start to get really comfortable in the league, you know, playing in the all-star game. And she had the big uh, triple 30 point, triple double the other night. Uh, my first time getting to see her play live. What have you uh, noticed about her game changing over the years now? That she's gotten healthy and talk to me about your relationship with Sabrina. Um, I just noticed that she's, you know, she's more comfortable. She's getting healthier. Um, and anybody healthy is a force to be reckoned with, especially when you're Sabrina, who can kind of do a little bit of everything, whether that be pass the ball, rebound, or score it from the freaking logo. So <laughs> it's super fun watching her and getting to kind of just be taken under her wing. She um, she takes good care of me. She talks to me throughout the game, off the court, on the court, trying to get me to, um, you know, fill in the pieces that I need to fill in, get better at what I need to get better at. And honestly, she's teaching me how to stay healthy and stay on my recovery um, journey. So I really appreciate her for everything she's done for me since I've been here. That's amazing. Are we thinking outside the box at all with the recovery? Are you doing anything that's sort of unconventional to get right and get back on the court, like deep meditations or acupuncture or anything different? No, she just, you know, coming from college, being a rookie, you don't really understand that you need to love your body just as much as you do off the court that you do on the court. And she's good about teaching I'm the younger players that because, you, like you said, she's going through an injury where she had to learn that early. So she's good about teaching us and telling us that get in the ice bath early, but rather being proactive and reactive when it comes to your body. 
Good stuff. D.D. Richards joining the show. Ben Lyons in for Rich on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, T.J. Jefferson uh, on the show yesterday asked Jimmy King what the the warm-up music was like for the Fab Five in the locker room during the 90s for those great Michigan teams. How about for you and the Liberty? Who's playing DJ in the locker room? And what are you guys listening to before the games to get fired up? We switch it. I'm I'm on the road trip. I'm the DJ on the away games. And Tosh is the DJ for the home games. But it's normally... For me, if I'm playing something, it's going to always be a little baby and a little Derek. <laughs> and everybody hates because I'm playing the same rotation of the same songs. But that's how I get warmed up. That's how I get pumped. So they have to learn to get pumped with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's great. What environment uh, has been the most high, oct- high octane for you on the road? Where have you enjoyed playing a road game in the W? Um... Probably all the West Coast teams. They bring a nice crowd. It's always loud. I mean, clearly they don't like us, but it's fun to play, you know, with the loud crowd. And when you hit a big shot or something, just hearing them all get quiet is always, you know, motivating and exciting coming into a timeout. I like the DJ out here in L.A. He does a good job. It's a fun atmosphere at the Sparks games. So uh, super fun. You were talking about, um, you know, getting healthy, and I obviously want to see you on the court, but – I feel like the the bench fits have become a thing for Didi. You rock your own merch on the bench. That's amazing. I I've like, never what? seen I, you rock your own merch. Like you rock a sweatshirt that says your name on it. Like no one else is doing that. <laughs> Talk to me about this the Didi Richards merch. Honestly, what better way to wear some clothes than your own self? So I kept telling them put my face on every shirt that you can put on possibly. And now we're here. So, honestly, it was just about getting out some something with my stamp on it, whether that be athleisure, headband, something. So, I'm happy that it was ath- athleisure, honestly, because it's something I wear all the time. Hoodie, sweat, crop top, sweat, but it's always sweat. So, I'm happy that they found a way to kind of make it me. And honestly, that was just about putting my face on it. So it was a great moment. It. <laughs> it was a great moment, but I hope I don't see it again because I want to see you out there rocking a jersey and back on the court because it's fun to watch you play live, and I'll be there in August for the Sparks games. Thanks for taking some time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Dee Dee Richards from Dee Dee. the New York Liberty. Yeah.